All right, maybe you're here and you're looking how to be a contractor. I mean, what do I need to know? Well, first of all, you gotta be alive and you're watching this, so you must be alive and you're trying to glean information. You came to a great spot, the Contractor License School. We're here not only to provide you great information, but we also have a podcast called Contractor USA, so don't miss that. So what do you need? Well. in order to become a contractor, there's different types. There's working for somebody, and then there is starting your own company as a construction company. Now, depending on the state you live in, I'm talking specifically in California. In California, for example, and and in a few states like New York, Florida, things like that, you need a contractor's license in order to run your own company as a construction company. So what would you need to do? Well, you probably should know how to build stuff or make something, right? If you're gonna make cabinets or install them or do flooring or painting or framing or roofing or build a house or do a room addition or, you know, the sky's the limit. Basically anything connected to a residential commercial property, uh, you need to know what you're doing. So where do you get that experience? You have a couple of options. Well, one, you can go to a university and you can get, um, you know, a certification or potentially a degree in construction Construction. Now you're going to pay upwards of 120 to 140 thousand dollars for that education, um, and then once you get that education, you still have to go get the actual physical experience. So let's say you got a bachelor's degree, you're going to need to go two years of physical experience working for a construction company in the trade that you want to get licensed for, and then once you complete those two years, you combine that with your four-year education, you go get a license, start your own company. But let me show you a cheaper way. You could actually go work for a construction company for four years and you work for them full-time at a journeyman level and then guess what then you got paid you had no education expense and now you can take your four years and go take the very same exact exam for the state that the person who got the university degree in and you don't have any debt and now you have the same exact license down to the T and you start a corporation and you get rolling. So that's pretty simple right there. But basically, if you're gonna start a construction company or uh, you wanna be a contractor, you're gonna need to know how to do it. So either way, you need to jump into the field and go make that happen. Now, granted, there are some states, like uh, Texas, for example, is an example of what a lot of other states are like, and I'm not gonna go through all 50 states. You could you could look each one of those up. But it's one where things like HVAC and plumbing definitely have to have a license and electrical, but to be a general contractor, you only have to have a license if you do over $250,000 in a project. So if your projects are small home residential and you're charging 30, 50, 80,000, the only thing you really need is a business license and that you're going to go down to the county recorder's office you're going to file for a business uh, name dba then you're going to go down to the city whatever city you're wanting to work in and you're going to get a business uh, a business license i personally recommend though just something for you to note and and we have a great deal for you um, if you are going to start a business or a construction business i always recommend a corporation of some kind traditionally not an LLC. LLC, they doesn't save you as much on taxes as you would think. Actually, you're going to save more on taxes using an escort pretty much in every state that you're in. Okay? So what you want to do is get that corporation. Reach out to us. Go down in the description below because we do corporations specific for contractors and making sure you're set up properly and correct in all 50 states. Okay? That's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. You just need experience. You got two routes to go get it. College or real-time experience. The college will have to be supplemented with some real-time experience, and then voila, you are done. But let's say you don't wanna own a business. Well, you can go apply to be a contractor working at any construction company that you can find on Google, and someone hires you, and they work you, and you grow and learn. You never know where that could lead because that could actually lead to a place of maybe helping them run projects. Maybe you become a superintendent, and you're making such good money you don't want to go get your license. So maybe you don't want to start a construction company or get your own license. And so what you can do is you could work within a company. You could apply at any construction company, right? And then from there, you're working for them. They might level you up to superintendent or foreman. And as long as you're making killer money, why get your license when you're just there making killer money? The other thing is what you can do is if you want to level up faster, you can actually go onto our website, contractorlicensenow.com, and you can go to our construction project management course 
take that 25 hour course, pass all the tests, go through the workbook, and then get your certification. And then now when you apply to work for a construction company, you're already gonna start off at a higher level. You're gonna start off with uh, basically higher pay. And if you take into account everything that we teach you there, you're just gonna be a doggone good contractor that knows how to run projects from beginning to end. And that's gonna be very valuable to your potential employer. So ladies and gentlemen, there's all kinds of things you can do. So I hope this was helpful in understanding um, what do you do as a contractor? How do you, how do you become a contractor? Uh, my name is Alan from the Contractor License School. You have questions, uh, give us a call. By the way, shoot a comment down below. We wanna know what you thought about this video and if you have any questions so that we can make some further uh, videos that are going to help you. And don't forget, subscribe. We wanna get you more valuable information. We'll talk to you soon, bye.